System Integrity Protection or SIP is designed to keep your macOS system safe. But sometimes it gets in the way of customizing your Mac or running certain software. In this video, I'll walk you through how to disable SIP safely on an Apple Silicon Mac. First of all, to check if your Mac has SIP enabled, open the terminal. In the terminal, type CSRUTIL status. As you can see, on my MacBook, the system integrity protection status is enabled. To disable SIP on your Mac, you will need to enter macOS recovery. The steps you need to follow to enter macOS recovery will slightly differ based on whether you use an Intel based Mac or Apple M chip Mac. I'm using an Apple M1 Mac. To enter into macOS recovery, I need to restart the Mac. Once the Mac screen is completely off, I need to press and hold the power button until I see the loading startup options message. However, if you are using an Intel based Mac, you need to press the power button and immediately hold the command plus R keys until you see the Apple logo. Then select options and click continue. Once you have entered macOS recovery, select the user that has administrator rights and click next. Type the password of the account if prompted and select continue. Click utilities from menu bar and choose terminal. Alternatively, you can press the command plus shift plus T on your keyboard to launch the terminal app. Now, in the terminal app, type CSRUTIL disable and hit the return key. Press Y on your keyboard to continue. Enter your Mac's admin password. After that, click the Apple logo on the menu bar and restart your Mac. After restart, you can check the SIP status again. You can see it has been disabled. You can go ahead and install the app you previously couldn't. Later, you can always re-enable system's integrity protection by entering macOS recovery again and typing the CSRUTIL enable command in the terminal. Guys, to maintain your Mac security, I'd suggest you disable SIP protection temporarily when necessary and re-enable it once your task is complete. Otherwise, your Mac will become vulnerable to viruses, malware or ransomware risks. I hope this video helped you. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below.